Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire Show. Hold on tight because we're going to cover a lot of ground today. We're going to be talking about your Facebook profile, Facebook groups, Facebook business pages, ads manager, business manager. There are so many things on Facebook right now that you might need for your business and it's confusing trying to figure out what all they are. So today we're going to dive into all of it, give you the big overview that you need to understand how they all work together. Let's dive in. All right, so now that we're on Facebook, I wanna walk you through the differences of a couple of these things. We're gonna talk about the difference between a Facebook profile page versus a Facebook group. We're gonna talk about the difference between your profile and your business page. And then we're also gonna talk about like your business page versus your business manager, ads manager, how those things work together. I think this is really important because there's a lot of confusion about how these all mesh together. A lot of people might think, okay, should I have a business page or a Facebook group for my business? Or you might be considering, should I be, you know, uh, you know, promoting my content on my personal profile or on my business page, right? You might've heard like, oh, you, you should use your personal profile because your Facebook page doesn't get any reach anymore. You're not going to see as many of your fans. Like there's a whole lot that goes into this and you probably have heard a thousand things from gurus. So we're going to dive into all of that. I'm just going to go through them like one by one, compare them and, and let you know kind of what you need to know. So this is, you know, a personal profile. This is my personal profile. You can see my wife, my kid, our puppy here. Uh, here's my other kid. You know, this is the place where you post. Like, you know, it used to be your your status update. You would say, post your news feed. Like, what are you doing? And it'd be like, Mike Yonda is drinking coffee at Starbucks. Yay! Right? You know, that kind of thing. You know, at least that's what it was back when I went to college, and you used to have to use your college email in order to get a Facebook. But your personal profile, this is where people can find out about you, where you're from, where you live, um, you know, any information about businesses you own, who your friends are. They can see pictures. They can, you can spy on all your friends from high school, see what they're doing. Oh, look, my kids went to preschool. Awesome. You know, like <laughs> you've got that kind of stuff. You know, this is a great place for your, for your mom to embarrass you. <laughs> Not really, uh, but you know, just to post kind of silly things like this on your profile. Um, you know, this is your thing that you're probably most familiar with, right? Your business, your, your Facebook profile, right? This is just, you post, all your friends see it. Now, from a business perspective, you know, this can be a great way to post content. The people that follow you, if you have a lot of your customers that are following you, you're connecting with people through groups and things like that, because most of the people that are friends with you are going to see your content. Now it's not 100% anymore. It's not, you know, that that's a misconception. The people that are going to see your content the most are going to be your closest personal connections, people that actually follow you. Like they can actually click and say, I want to follow this person, your new friends and people that engage a lot, right? They comment, they like, they share your posts. Those are the people that are going to see it the most. If you've got like a loose connection of people that like you don't really talk to anymore, that's going to be less likely to show up. Okay. So you can post on your personal profile file to get more eyeballs on your content, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option. Now, just to con contrast that to say a business page, I'm going to show you how you can get to a business page from your profile. You're going to go to this arrow here in the top right and you'll see your pages and you can click see more because I manage a lot of pages. So I'm just going to go down here to our laptop empires page. And this is what um, your business page is going to look like and it's going to take a second to load. You can still write posts and put content on there. There's a lot of things you're going to see. So you can see some videos here from Bobby. You can see videos from me. Um, if we keep scrolling on, if we had events, it would show up there. You can see recommendations and reviews from some of our lovely clients and podcast fans in this one. Um, you can see more videos, photos that have been posted. This is pretty cool. One of our students, um, that hit join the 5k club. We sent them champagne. That's what we do when somebody starts earning $5,000 per month or more. Um, there's all kinds of things that's going to load, but all of our posts are going to show up here. And then you're going to be able to do things like go to page transparency here. You can see what ads people are running. Um, if they have a group connected to the page, you can check that out. You can see their website, you know, ours, we need to do a little work on our page. We don't have <laughs> as much information as we probably should on here, but, um, you know, oh, there's our website. So you can go to our website. So that's the page, right? Now, the big thing, the page versus the profile is that your profile will reach more people, but you cannot run ads on your personal profile. So a lot of people kind of abandon ship on their pages and stop putting content on their pages 
because Facebook made it so that only about two to three percent of the people on your Facebook page will actually see your content. And so they're like, well, I have all these likes. I've got a thousand people like my page. Only 20 to 30 people are going to see each post. Like why post there? Why not post on my profile? The answer is because you can promote it. You can run an ad to it. And you might think that's some BS, you know, you got to pay to play. But the reality is there's only so much space in the newsfeed. And so by them reducing the amount that the paid, you know, that your page content is showing up, it's allowing for there to be more space for ads and for ads to be, you know, less expensive. And the reality is Facebook is an advertising platform, not really a social network. It's always been run by ads. That's how it keeps up and running. But if you're a business owner and you're spending money on ads, this is a good thing because it means other people's pages that they're posting on aren't going to just flood your feed. But you should be promoting content on here because if you're putting content on your page, it's building engagement. You can do all kinds of stuff like create custom audiences of people that have engaged with your page that you can target with ads, lookalike audiences so you can get more people and more fans by targeting people that look the most like your current fans. Um, you can you can boost if you have an, an ad or a, a video that's or whatever it's doing really well. You can promote it. You can spend an ad on it to to make it more people reach it. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with a business page, and you should should have it as a business. It's like your business business card, right? Like people, one of the first things they'll do when they're looking up your business is they're going to go look at your Facebook page. So it's a good idea to have one of these things created. Now, the other big thing besides the page and your profile is you've got groups. And so I'm going to go here to home to my newsfeed and you can see shortcuts usually to groups over here. If you go all the way down, you can go to explore and you can click groups and then you can see all kinds of groups either you're part of or I mean, it's just slow loading here, but groups that you're part of your friends groups, groups that are popular near you by subject, you can find all kinds of cool new groups. But if you're just here, right, you can go to shortcuts, I'm going to go ahead and show you like our student group, right? This is our coaching community for all of our students at Laptop Empires. You can see we've got almost a thousand people in here and this is where they can post their questions. We've got an accountability post going here. Um, you can see they're getting feedback on an ad that they're running. Um, here's talking about uh, Mike got his first paying client. That's awesome. There's all kinds of stuff going on in here. And so a Facebook group is different from a page in that it's a community where people can post and see everything. And you're going to see almost every post from a group. So this is a great way to build a community, to have a place uh, for your students, your clients, um, to share information. You know, we have free groups, paid groups. You know, Bobby's got a great free group for his Millennial Money Man brand where people that are interested in personal finance go into that group. And there's 10,000 plus people in there sharing information, asking questions. And we have paid groups like this, but you can make announcements. You can host events. You can even go in file section. We have all kinds of extra content in the files section, like this one right here that has every week we do a live training for like over an hour and you can go and you can watch these videos, right? So there's some cool things that you can do with groups. You can't run ads in groups. So this is like a personal profile and that you can't promote this content. That might happen one day, but it's not available yet. So only your content that's on your Facebook page can be turned into an ad. And I keep bringing that up because I just believe that Facebook ads are incredibly affordable and it's a great way to promote your business and grow your audience. So I just, before I go on, I want to say, if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, you know, check our, out our channel. You should definitely subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Go ahead. Do that right now. Um, because we have tons of content on Facebook ads and growing your business in general, but we're big believers in paid traffic, especially with Facebook ads. All right. So subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos we have, check out the related videos in the, in the description of this video. And you're going to find all kinds of great content on how to use ads or grow your business on Facebook or email marketing, all kinds of stuff. All right. So let's go back one more time. I want to show you a couple of more things. So we've already talked about your personal profile. We talked about your uh, your business page. And we talked about groups. I want to talk to you about business manager because you might think business page, business manager. What's the difference, right? So you can get to business manager. Let me move me over here again by going here and you're going to go down. You see business manager and I'm going to click. Now you can go here, manage pages, manage groups, manage ads, but I'm going to go to business manager and I'm going to show you what it is. Okay, so business manager, you can see here a bunch of different um, 
accounts. These are, these are like big umbrella accounts. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Mike Yonda. This is my personal one. Now this inside of this, this stores all of the ad accounts and all of the pages that I manage. Right. So I can go in here and just see tons of stuff. All right. And so what is happening in business manager is it's holding all of the ads accounts, all the ad manager accounts, and all of the business pages in one place. All right. So business manager is not necessarily something that you need right away until you start running ads, but you definitely need it if you're running ads for other clients, right? So if you do like I do, or like our students do from the Facebook side hustle course, you know, you need business manager in order to manage your client ad accounts, or at least the best, most professional way to do it. Okay. So business manager is just housing all of these ad accounts and these business pages, right? And you can add those in and manage it through business settings. If you want to know more about this, if you want to know more about this particular feature, then you can check out our business manager setup tutorial in the description, or you can just like click the little, there's like a little icon card thing over around here floating around my head somewhere. You can click on that and it'll walk you through it. So the last thing that I really want to walk you through is I want to show you ads manager. Now I'm here in business manager, so I can go to ads manager and that's where we advertise, but I do want to go back to Facebook. I'm just going to go to Facebook. Um, it's not working. Let's go to, let's go back one more. Okay. I want to go here and I want to show you how to get this. If you go to this arrow and you go to manage ads, that's going to take you to ads manager, right? And so here, I'm just going to go to one of these accounts that I don't really use, but you're going to be able to select the account. And this is where you can create your campaigns, right? This is where you manage your ads. You can go here to create. It's a guided process. It walks you through all of these steps, the ad account, the ad sets, the ad, right? You can choose what kind of ads you want. You're targeting all of that stuff. If you want to learn more about this, check out our guide in the description, right? We've got tons, we've got tons of stuff on this. All right. So we just covered all of those things. And now you're probably trying to figure out what do I need to do next? And I think it's really important that you have a Facebook business page. You need to get that created if you haven't created it. And then there's two things that I want you to do. The first one is I want you to watch our video on how to get free page likes because you need to build up your likes, your fans on your business page so that your content reaches more people. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the description or right here at the end screen. So that's the first thing you need to do. Go watch the video on how to get free page likes. This is not a scam. It's very, I'm actually going to warn you about something scammy. Um, and I'm going to show you a really cool trick. So go watch that video. And then from there, you need to just figure out like, how do I use ads manager. And so I want you to get the basic overview of ads manager, similar how this video is an overview, because if you want to start running ads for your business on the Facebook platform, you need to understand how it works. So you're not just draining money, giving a bunch of money to Zuckerberg on, uh, you know, using boost posts. So watch the video on the ads manager tutorial, talking about the different levels of a campaign, how to create one. Okay. Once again, in the description or on the end screen here. And then that's it for today. You know, that's it for our show. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I don't want you to miss any of the videos. So subscribe, hit that bell. We'll see you with the video next week.